So it's about that time you got to update Portainer to 2.0 from 1. Point whatever you're using. You can see down here it says there's a new version available, but we're going to go ahead and update it using, you guessed it, Docker Compose within Portainer. Now, this is kind of an obscure way to do it, but it's easy and it works. So let's do it. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Jeremy. Today, we're going to be updating Portainer to 2.0. Now, there's a couple things you need to know going into this. If you know about the template file that myself and Self Hosted Pro created for Portainer, do know going in that some changes need to be made. It will still work, but you have to convert the file, and there's some systematic weird thing that you have to do to convert it to their nerf new formatting. Ugh. You know what? It's a pain in the butt quite unhappy with Portainer and their templating system right now, but I don't want to complain too much about Portainer because it's been an amazing software and it has helped uh, me, myself, learn a lot about how Docker works uh, over the last few years. And that's why I'm here to teach you guys how to use Portainer and use it as a stepping stone in your Docker ventures. So where do we begin? To update to 2.0, I'm going to use a stack, and I'll show you here by going to the stacks page. I'm going to add a new stack. I'm going to paste this in here. This is a Portainer Docker Compose stack here. It's really simple, and I'm going to go ahead and name it Portainer 2 at the top there. And what I'm going to do is remove port 8000 because I don't need it. And by the way, this will be in the description below so you can snag it and use it yourself. And since we're already using port 9000, we're going to use 9001. So that's all you have to do is just change the port to 9001. Then we're going to add a dash CE, and this puts us on Portainer 2.0. So we'll go ahead and click Deploy the Stack. This will take about 30 to 60 seconds to pull the new image down and set it up. All right, Stack successfully deployed. You can see it right here. Let's go ahead and go to Containers. So the first thing you're going to notice is it's going to have a funky name there, but that's okay. We can always rename it. So let's go ahead and refresh the container list here. So you can see the port disappeared, and that's because it can't figure out what's going on. There's a timeout. So what we're going to do is we're going to tick this box. We're going to click remove. Ugh, I know, I know. You're probably thinking, oh, that's so horrible. No, I don't want to do it. Trust me, trust click remove keep the volume a persistent volume go ahead and click remove don't don't check that <laughs> all right now you're going to see this error in the upper right corner it's going to say yada 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 we can't figure out where you're at because you just removed us so how can i access the ui so what we're going to do is just change this to port 9001 and bingo here we are you just log in just like so and here's all of your containers. And look, down here in the lower left, it says you are on 2.0. But I don't want to be on port 9001. That's okay. You don't have to be. All we have to do is go back to stacks. You can keep it on 9001 and be good to go from here. Or you can just add a new stack, paste it in there, get rid of this, and call it Portainer. And then redeploy. Don't forget your dash CE for 2.0. Deploy the stack and do the same thing. It's very, very easy. This is how easy it is to update to 2.0. But don't forget about the templates. The templates won't work unless you convert them for the time being. I don't know. They might, they might change that. I don't know. But if we go back to containers, we can we can see the this is the current version we're running right now on 9001 so if we do the same thing we remove it again don't remove the persistent volumes go ahead and click remove and then let it run its course again and then we'll go back we'll put this back on 9000 just like so and we are back on the same port we started on See how easy that is. No command line interface, no terminal, no stopping and starting stuff. Sure, this can be done in different ways and you've seen this done in different ways. So one thing you might notice is down here in the bottom, it says just Portainer, it doesn't say 2.0. Really all we need to do is just tick this box and click restart. 
It says unable to restart. Your sus it will every time you restart it'll boot you out. And there's your 2.0 again down in the bottom left corner. I'll go ahead and click on local here and go into my containers and show you really quick how to rename this. You click on the container and you click on the little pencil edit and then we'll just call it portainer2. And then click the little check mark and we're good to go. Go back to containers. There it is, guys. You're on portainer2 on the original port 9000. You can keep it on 9001 if you want, but that's it. Super simple. If you enjoyed and it helped you out, consider giving me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, drop them in the section below the video. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you on board. Click that bell icon to let you know when the videos drop. Also, we're on Discord. All that information's in the description below. That's going to be it for today. Bye for now.